Hello Tikis. In this session, we will learn what is ChatGPT API, how to generate API keys for ChatGPT, and finally, we will see how to use ChatGPT API. All right, let's start with what is ChatGPT API. ChatGPT API is a product of OpenAI, which is a cloud based API that provides access to open AI's advanced language models, which including ChatGPT 3 and ChatGPT 4. ChatGPT API allows developer to integrate natural language processing NLP capabilities into applications and build intelligent conversional interfaces. By using OpenAI Chart API, we can build our own applications with Chart GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4. By using Open API Chart API, we can draft an email or piece of writing, write Python code, answer questions about a set of documents, we can create conversional agents, and also we can give your software a natural language interface. We can tutor in a range of subjects and we can translate different languages. And by using Chart GPT API, we can simulate characters for video games and we can do many more. All right. Now we'll see how to generate API keys for Chart GPT. Let's switch back to browser. And then I'm going to browse openai.com and then I'm going to click on enter. Now login into the openai.com by giving you your username and password, which it will redirect to platform.openai.com slash apps. There you can see I'm having different apps over here. One is chart GPT, DALI and API. Now we need to generate our API that is application programming interface. Now, this API integrates open AI models into our applications or business. Now we want to generate our API keys for chart GPT, right? So that I'm going to select open API. Let's click on that. And there you can see, welcome to the open AI platform where you can have start with basics. If you want to build an application, you can go for the chart, text completion, speech to text, fine tuning, image generation, embedding. These are all the applications you can build it up with chart GPT, right? Now we want to generate our API keys so that you can see over here on the right hand side, I'm having my account, click on that. And there you can see I'm having the options called view API keys. Let's click on that. Now, once you are going to click on that, it will redirect to platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. These are all the secret API keys which are having in your account. Please don't share your API keys with others or don't expose these API keys in the browser or on the client side code. In order to protect your security of your account, OpenAI may also automatically rotate any API key that we have found has been leaked publicly. Now you can see over here, this is my name of the API key, which I have given as chart GPT with Power Automate desktop. And you have the key and it has been created date and last use. Now, if you want to generate a new secret key, then you are going to click on new secret key, click on that. And there you can give your new secret key, right? If you want to give the name, you can give it, this is an optional, but right now I'm going to give it as chart GPT API key. Okay. And then I'm going to click on create secret key. The new secret key has been generated. If you want to save this key, just click on copy and then you can save it wherever you require. All right. Let me click on done. Now you can see under the name, you can get chart GPT API key with the key value and then when it has been created and when it has been used. If you don't want to keep this API key, then you can go ahead and you can revoke this key. All right. I hope you understand how to generate API keys for the chart GPT by using 
platform.openapi.com slash account slash API keys. Now, at the final one, we will see how to use ChartGPT API. Now, to understand the API of ChartGPT, which allows developer to integrate in the multiple applications by using this API keys. Now, to understand that, I'm going for the API reference in the platform.openai.com and we'll see how can we use these secret keys across the applications. Now, let me click on API reference. There you can see I'm having different API references over here, such as making a request. If you click on that one, it is the HTTP request that we are going to use it, all right? So our APS will work with the HTTP ES basis, that is hypertext transfer protocol basis. There you can see I'm having making a request with HTTPS api.openai.com slash v1 slash chart slash completions. This is for the chart purpose. Now, if you go for the, what are the models that we have in the chart GPT, then you can go for the models over here. There you can see, if you want to get the number of models which are described in the API, then you are having the get over here, that is HTTPS slash api.com slash v1 slash models, which it will give the available models in the chart GPT API. Okay, you can see the example over here on my right hand side, that is the curl they have used, that is the URL HTTPS slash slash api.openai.com slash v1 slash models. And there you can see the authorization and the bearer. You have to give the open API key over here, which we have generated just now. And the response you can see, the data which will come as a model, that is data, and you can see the models over here as an output. All right, that is the list of models if you want to get it. If you want to retrieve the models in a such a case that you are going to use HTTPS slash api.com slash v1 slash models, and then you are going to give it text hyphen down c003, which it will return a model instance providing the basic information about the model, such as warning and permissioning. Now, in future, we are going to work with completions, chart, edits, images, and embedding, audio, files, fine tuning, moderation, engines, parameters, each and every thing that you are going to work it. Now, if I'm going to work on the completions, there you can see the completions is a kind of prompt that model will return one or more predicted completions and can also return the probabilities of alternative tokens for each and position. Then if you are going to work with create completion, then you are going to use post. And then you can see over here, HTTPS slash API dot openai.com slash v1 slash completions and the request body in the json format if you have any json format then you can go ahead and you can give in the json format now we can see over here the https you are going to give it and the content type is application slash json format and the header for the authorization and then the bearer and you are going to give it api key over here right and then you are going to give the body over here and then for the parameters, you are going to give it the parameters in a such a way that is model and then prompt. And then you are going to give the, uh, whatever the text that you want to give it, you can give it. And then the maximum tokens and the temperature, top P, N, these are all the parameters which you are going to give it. And then in response that you are going to get the output from the chart API, all right? In a such a way, if you are going for the chart, you are having V1 slash charts as come completions as the post response and then you are going to get the response as an output if you see the parameters over here that i'm having model that is gpt 3.5 hyphen turbo and the message you can see over here i'm having role content hello and if you observe most of the times i'm going to give the header over here as content type as application slash json and the authorization this api key will be useful at the time of authorization to connect with our chart gpt api with bearer and then you are going to give it api key and now if you see in all the scenarios wherever you are going to use it created it then we are going to use the url as v1 slash edits and the authorization you are going to give it as open ai key 
that is the API key which we have generated. All right. In the same way, you are going to use for the images, embedding, audio, files, fine tunes, moderation, and many more. I hope you understand what is ChatGPT API and how to generate API keys for ChatGPT to use externally in different applications. And also, we have seen how to use ChatGPT API keys across multiple applications with different models.